your mission is about really bringing independent film uh, and filmmakers uh, to light. And yet, let's go ahead and dive into the thicket right away. Let's uh, kind of peel back a couple layers of the onion. Hollywood has a diversity, equity, and inclusion challenge. Um, I was remarking in my introduction for this uh, podcast that it isn't Hollywood or the entertainment industry itself, right? I mean, it's the industry is uh, a reflection of American society at large. So this isn't something that someone has done necessarily individually wrong or problematically, but it's recognizing that there is a challenge. So tell me, what is the scope of the challenge as you see it? Have we made progress? But how far yet do we have to go? And I know part of what NFMLA does is, is, is attend to some of these things. So I'm curious, you're in the middle of it right now. So, it, I mean, it's a huge part of what we do. Diversity, equity, inclusion is represented in all of our programming. Um, so we have uh, specifically an initiative called In Focus. And so every month at our festival, we spotlight a different underrepresented group of storytellers. And so we, of course, you know, cover a lot of the very traditionally underrepresented storytellers based on, you know, race or sexuality or gender, right? So we've got a female cinema program, a black cinema program, indigenous cinema, uh, LGBTQ plus cinema. But then we like to take it a little bit deeper um, with what we do. So we've got, you know, disabilities, we've got veterans, and let's not forget, you know, um, our experiences come into play and our regions That's right. come into play with how we see the world and our, our life experiences. And so um, we also have, inter- you know, as part of that in focus series region. Right. So I always like to say you could grow up gay uh, in a very conservative part of the South. Or you could grow up gay in Santa Monica, California, and your LGBTQ plus experience would be a very different one, right? Your, oh, yeah. your sort of sh- how you were shaped based on, you know, having to hide who you were maybe for 20 plus years of your life um, really sort of changes the DNA of who you are. And it's really hard to break free of a lot of those kinds of things, depending on you know, where you grow up, how you grew up. Did you come from a family that supported you? Did you come from a family that didn't have a lot of access, that didn't have a lot of means? And, you know, those things aren't always tied to your sexuality or your race or, you know, your gender. Those things are tied to sometimes just the life situation you were born into or the region or, you know, what you may have had access to based on, you know, where you grew up or who you grew up with. 